Welcome back to the channel again, folks. Keith here from Command the Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing the channel, please press that red and white button below. The channel's growing fast. A thumbs up or a comment below would be appreciated. So, I'm going to talk about four players today in the midfield department. First of all, the reports this morning that Celtic have terminated the long move of Oliver Abergard from Ruben Kassan, the Danish midfielder. 26 years of age, we took him on loan from the Russian Premier League, basically back in August. Reportedly, the fee to the end of the season was going to be 1.8 million of the long move, and the deal has terminated. 156 minutes for Celtic overall, he's collected since now. And you know what? It's it's a shame. You know, this guy he was tipped to be the next near B town, you know, with a bit of stability in that defensive midfield position. But we have Callum playing there, we have Aaron Moy that can play there, Matt O'Reilly can play there as well. We have Sorrow on loan at the moment in Portugal, which I can see him going on a permanent deal. And, you know, James McCarthy as well can play there. So Albergard is gone. Gone from Celtic. I wish him the very best. Obviously there's a bit of a scenario going on with Russian teams with FIFA and UEFA at the moment of the Ukrainian war so I don't know where he's going to go off to is it a case that he'll go back and play in the Russian Premier League or is it a case that he'll go to the Danish League I really don't know but I wish him the very best because he obviously wants to get back into that Danish side and the Danish side is pretty decent but Matt O'Reilly fingers crossed he'll get his senior call up for Denmark soon as well this is a big year for Matt O'Reilly David Turnbull I discussed on the channel last night, look at David Turnbull, 23 years of age, we signed him from Motherwell back nearly almost three years ago, obviously the original time you were meant to sign him, that injury occurred, but he's played over 72 times for Celtic, and you know he's been more featured as a sub, his contract's up in May 24, what would you like to see happen with David Turnbull? I discussed David Turnbull on the podcast last night, my honest opinion of David Turnbull is, I just think... He just doesn't suit Celtic. He's a f cracker free kick taker. You know, he's he's quite good with the ball, but he just he's missing that string of pace. Some people might argue with me in the comments and say, What about Aaron Moy? He's missing that string of pace. I think Aaron Moy as as a player has been established and knows him quite well playing on the Australian side and he's played quite well since he came back as well from the international duty. Even when Callum was out, Aaron Moy played quite well. David Turnbull needs to needs a long move. I think even to back to his home club town, but oh well, for the season it means that he gets fourth team football, he gets back in the rhythm of playing games, scoring goals, you know, get help oh well push for a top six finish, or I think Dundee United you know, would be an ideal fit. A relegation battle, become a hero, and then reevaluate our options at the end of the season, but one year left in his contract to say, well, look, okay, this is what we could do with David Turnbull because less game time he's going to play or not even play or feature, he's not going to get for the Scotland squad. And I know he's getting the, the odd call-up for the Scotland squad, but you need David Turnbull playing. And I still believe there's potential in David Turnbull to come back to Celtic and be stronger than ever. I think a long move would help him so much, big time. James McCarthy, five appearances this season, 22 years of age. His contract is up in May 25. I, I think it's criminal that we gave James McCarthy a long-term deal at the age he's at. Now, don't get me wrong, we tipped him to come in, maybe do a Bruni job, you know, recover from the injuries that he had at Wigan and at Everton. And it hasn't worked out for him. It really hasn't worked out for James McCarthy. Is a case that he's reportedly on over 25 grand a week. Are we going to cut his deal? Sunderland were linked, last linked to him in the last window. I think a, a couple of championship sides will be linked to him in the next couple of weeks. I think it would be great to send him along because he doesn't benefit Celtic. Yeah, he may be a part of the dressing room, might be good in training, but we need a player that's playing that we have hopes about. And James McCarthy, it's an it's an all for me. I just try to get rid of him as soon as possible, terminate the contract, pinch it out, you know, definitely. And the last one is Yasuki Itaguchi, a guy that's only played three times for Celtic this season, 26 years of age, signed up from Gaba Osaka in Japan. He's had to have two spells at Gamba Osaka with this new guy coming in, Iwate, which is on the verge of being completed, Itaguchi has to go the other way, to back to Japan, because it just hasn't worked out from that injury in his debut against Alawa. You know, what can we get from Itaguchi? Cracking shots, you know, he, he's a good midfielder, very good hole, hole in midfielder, but obviously Anshi is something in him that 
we're not getting out of them, and which is not giving them game time. So let's move them on. Um, I wish them the very best. Like this time last year, we were basically announcing the sign of Rio Atate, Days of My on loan, and Yasuki Idiguchi, and it hasn't worked out for Idiguchi. But with regards to the rest of the Japanese boys, it's worked out well. Rio Tate is striving. Maeda's playing well. Koyogo's been outstanding. Kawabashi's going to hopefully get a bit of time under the belt. And then Awata coming in as well. It just opens the door. Like, Angie needs to shuffle the midfield department in this window. Send a few on loan. Get rid of a few because I just feel like there's a few duds there. Even though we're a winning team, there's a few duds there that we can clear out, get off the wage bill. And focus on getting players in that actually can play for the short and are valuable. So that's my honest opinion on these players. Let me know in the comments and I'll speak to you all soon. Hell hell.